Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's time for the crossover. Shav? Miss Shavanik? Miss Shavanik? Can I hear you? Yes. Shavanik, do you hear what's going on? Yes, I hear everything that's going on. All right, can your voice be louder a little bit? Hey. I got, I got I'm a, only gonna do that. Oh, I like that. Don't be giving me lip close-ups and all this on the camera, okay? That's just, <laughs> hey, back up, Sorry. back back up. No, I'm kidding. Sorry, <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, we got Shavanique on the line. Shavanique Island is a singer, songwriter, and also the daughter of legendary artist Admiral Tibet. Why are they calling you an American singing songwriter? Use a Jamaican. Shannon, she is not an American. She's a, ja her daddy is Admiral Tibet. She's a Jamaican. Yes. Thank That's you. That's right. See, I got you, Shad. <laughs> right. They be disrespecting people around here. You know what I mean? I'm not listening to Shannon no more. Talk to me. <laughs> he keeps he keep throwing Thanks it for correcting ball. them. I, I got you, girl. Them. No, seriously. It's hard growing up in America with Jamaican parentage because a lot of time your family love to discount you and call you the Yankee. Did you have the same experiences? That they can't hear you when um, you move your actually, head. Actually, yeah. I just recently moved to the U.S. So, so no, you're not even an American. This is no. all a lie, I say. <laughs> I wasn't born there. <laughs> Where are you from? I am from, I was I was raised in Portmore. I'm from Jamaica originally. Oh, the 15th parish. The 15th parish. Yes. I love that. Okay, so let's talk about your music. Talk to me about what made you go in your father's footsteps. What made you pursue singing? Um, I mean... Besides from music being in my DNA from birth, yeah, um, it's just the love for music, you know, seeing my daddy in action and discovering my talent. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I'm like, you know what? Music is a universal language. And I feel like if I, I'm a very reserved laid back person and yeah. I feel like um, the way I express myself is through my music and I want to reach people. So I have the love for music. That's why I want to go ahead and pursue music. I just have a genuine love Tell me for music what it was like, you know, um, watching your dad in action. Because you had to have seen the good, the bad, and the ugly. This business isn't always a bed of roses. So what was that like for you? Um, what, what's one of your most memorable experiences being around your father in action? Um, to be honest... Just being on stage with him and seeing how much love he was receiving, how the people were just receiving him, how receptive they were. And, and I think that was the first, first time because I used to do backup for my dad. That's how I started my musical journey yeah. as a backup vocalist for my dad. So I used to do backup for him and just seeing him the first time on stage, I was like, wow, it was surreal to me because yeah. I've never really been to any of his stage shows until I was of age that I could travel with him and go places with him and see him in action. Yeah. So that was just something. It was amazing. He it was sang a, a lot of experience. songs. He, he has a lot of hits. I mean, a lot of songs, a lot of hits. One of my favorite is the combination with Shaba Ranks, though. Tell me which one. You know, don't try to diss me, girl. I love that one yes. as well. You know, we're living in a serious time. He always kept it on a positive foot. When he heard that you wanted to get into this business, what advice did he give you? All right. So his first advice he gave me was, okay, I'm excited and I'm happy but. that you're pursuing your solo career, but <laughs> yeah. keep it conscious. Keep it conscious because I'm medium admiral to it and I'm a conscious artist. So keep it conscious. Just keep it positive and clean. Yeah. That's one of the one of the advice that he gave to me. That's a lot so, of pressure. Know, I'm trying to keep it clean, but at the same time, I'm I'm trying to create my own path, you know? Yeah. And be me, stay true to who I am. Yeah. Well, that, that, that's what I was going to say. And that's exactly what I asked because he's always given us clean music. So he's telling yep. you to do the same in, in 2020, yep, yep. in 2021, right? <laughs> yep, yep. And he was like, you know what? If you're going to go on stage yeah. in like underwear or something too revealing, <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to come up to one of those shows. 
Oh no! I don't think I'll be able to go to one of those shows. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you ever will? Be honest. Do you think you ever will? I feel like I am growing and I am changing. Yeah. So like two years ago, I would say no. No. But I think now. You're ready for Brooke codes. <laughs> Talk the truth. Talk the truth. <laughs> Just a little bit, you know, just right. a little bit. <laughs> Look, I would tell you, you know, I am one of the biggest fans of the queen, Lady Saw. And Lady Saw yes. broke out for many years and in the end of her career decided that broken out was the wrong path. But to be honest <laughs> with you, I use her as an example because I love to tell people, Lady Saw, the broken out part of her is not what people even remember the most from right. the character Lady Saw. They remember the empowerment that she was so adamant about telling us about. They remember the fact that Lady Saw wasn't always like, give me a money, man. She was also telling you, I'm going to make my own money and this is how it's going to be. So I yeah. don't think broken out is too bad. You just got to balance. You know what I mean? Balance. Right. I don't think On your head right. top. Right. Sorry. Right. Right. <laughs> right. right. That's what I'm talking about. That is Jeff. I like that vibe. That's like a nice little crossover, poppy, reggae, little bit of everything. You know uh, what I mean? Thank you. Thank you. But I can see you <laughs> broken out in the video. I'm so sorry. I know, right? I'm so sorry you got to wear a jumpsuit. <laughs> <laughs> tell your daddy I love him, though. I love him, though. But tell him bikinis ain't that bad. No, I just think there's I a know, balance to I everything. I bikinis in that video. I did a video for that song. Oh, that's how and you get away with video, it? You be by the beach and put on a swimsuit? Yes. In the video, when I did the video, I was wearing a swimsuit. I sent him the video after the video was ready. And I sent it to him. He called me. And my dad was like, why are you sending me this video? I'm like, because it's my new music video. So <laughs> he was like, but you're wearing bikini in it. Oh. I'm like, yes. He was like, but why are you sending it to me? Because I need your approval. He was like, okay, it's nice, but I don't approve the bikini. I'm like, you'll get over it. Good, good answer. Good answer, Chef. <laughs> good answer. I, I, I love you, Daddy Admiral <laughs> Tibet. I still hope you'll give me a dub plate after I say that. But good answer, Chef. <laughs> You know what I mean? Life is a balance, you know? And I think yeah. when people have problems with nudity on women, and not even nudity, but skin on women, yeah. that's their own personal issue that they should battle with. Why does it strike you so heavily? You know what I mean? Sometimes it's appropriate right. and sometimes it's not. I'm not saying wear a bodysuit half naked to a restaurant, but if I'm doing my music right. video and I want to shake it a little right. bit, I'm going to shake it. Yeah. I mean, it depends on the type of setting. Yes. You know, you have to just, yeah, you, I mean, it depends on the settings. You have to apply yourself. People mistake sexy with, uh, I don't know what I can say in the daytime. But, right. But that, right. They, yeah, they, 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 they mistake, mistake it. Sexiness with raunchiness. Yes. That's a good word. And, good, clean word. Raunchy. Yes. Right. <laughs> And there's a difference. There's yeah. a difference. But that's what I keep telling, like, most people, including my dad, that, listen, I'm a very sexual person, so nothing is wrong yeah. with me showing off yeah. myself, who I am. Exactly. But I'm not going to do it in a raunchy way. I don't knock anyone for doing it yeah. in that way, too. That's just them, but that's just not me. Why, why do you I think do people? In a sexy way. Why do you think people still have the hang-up about women being comfortable with their sexuality? Um, to be honest, to be honest, um, I, I, I really don't see, I, I really don't see the issue if a woman wants to, you know, if a woman wants to dress a certain way or she wants to do a certain, whatever she wants to do, she's allowed to do it. She's entitled to anything. As long as she pays her bills. It is something that I can never understand. Yeah. So I cannot explain that. Guess I'm what? I'm trying to figure it Guess out. Guess what? To each his own. Guess what? You ain't got to <laughs> explain other people's crazy. 
because that's crazy. Exactly. Let alone. them worry about it. Exactly. Everybody's allowed <laughs> to be who they want to be as long as they're not doing it intentionally to hurt another human. And that's just what life is. And on that note, we have to leave, Shav. Uh, let me find out your social media. Where can people follow you and stay up to date with what you're doing? Uh, you can go ahead and follow me at Shave Music, and that's S H A V A Music. Yeah, it is all. It is on all social media platforms. Yeah. Go ahead and check out my YouTube channel. Check out my videos. Yeah. Subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's Shave Music. S H A V A Music. It is all over the internet. Once you type my name in on Google, you'll see other stuff pop up. I can't wait to see the day when you broke out into your full true self. I'll be waiting. <laughs> Until then, which one should I play? Father or love you?